Well, we have three vehicles that are going to crash into the semi-trailer uh, at varying speeds and from varying directions. We're simulating someone at a light taking off too soon and crashing into the back of the semi at probably 10, 15 miles an hour. Uh, we did what we consider like a low speed impact to, to simulate a tractor at a stoplight. The signal turns green and the car from behind who's not paying attention runs into the back at a very low speed. SATI is an organization of law enforcement and private uh, citizens who are involved typically in the area of accident reconstruction and collision investigation. Yeah, it'd be kind of a bummer to have the SATI, every year they hold their annual conference. We host the class for them out at our training center. And the Cardinals were gracious enough to allow us to use the parking lot to do the testing. A Swift Transportation donated a, a semi for them to do some testing and they're gonna try to get calculations so they can come up with some formulas when there are accidents involving the larger commercial trucks and that they have some data that, that, that they can base everything off of when they're doing their investigations. The second collision that we did was to investigate a car going laterally underneath the trailer. So we had an impact speed of our car of approximately 35 miles an hour. And you could see from the video that it penetrated, but not fully. Uh, what was very interesting to us is the amount of motion of the trailer. So we have a 3,500 pound striking a 30,000 pound heavy truck. And you could actually see the trailer tires bounce as well as moving the tractor. So we all thought that was very interesting. I've got a couple of my uh, vehicular crimes detectives that are part of our whole vehicular crimes unit that respond to our serious collisions and fatal collisions that we investigate and they're going through the school. It helps us because we have some data that we can use based on tests that have been done to show the, the impact and at what speeds, how much the impact is and the severity of what the type of damage will be and it helps them be able to reconstruct the accidents. Our final collision of the day was a high-speed accident. Uh, the tractor trailer was stopped and in park, and we impacted it with a 2003 Chevy Impala uh, at approximately 50 miles an hour. But what you could see is the trailers are equipped with what's called an underride bar or an ICC bar. Uh, this is designed to prevent on a lower moderate speed from the car going too far underneath and potentially severely injuring the occupants. Uh, so with this, we could see the underride bar broke, but the car really was what we would probably consider a survivable accident for a restrained person. The penetration wasn't too deep deep and we had an airbag deployment uh, and we really didn't get too far into the occupant survival space. So we we're very happy with the results.